it's Feed Back Gaming. Welcome back for some more Europa Universalis 4, where we're going to be playing the new DLC, which is Mandate of Heaven. I don't know, I don't need to explain every piece and detail of what this um, new expansion includes. You've probably seen all the dev diaries, you've probably seen all the uh, dev videos and whatnot, and you've maybe seen Quill play it as well. I am going to be playing as Korea. So, Asia's been revamped. There's lots of little bits of changes in there and whatnot. I'm going to jump in there. As I said, I usually play with a quite a faster style than some of the other YouTubers slash streamers. And I will stick to that for this series to try and make it not boring. Guys, if you want more EU4, please hit that like button right now. Let me know that EU4 is the kind of content you want to see on my channel. Okay, so, Korea. They start off as Confucianism. Confucian. Confusion? Confusionism. <laughs> okay, first of uh, the Hall of Worries. Uh, bring the brightest scholars, scholars in the nation together under one roof. And this will lose 50 ducats, lose 30 admin, but we gain prestige forever until the end of the game. I can't say no to that. I, that's really good. Uh, rivals, we're going to set the Northern Manchu tribes as our enemies. Uh, we have uh, some forts here that we're not going to use. I don't usually like deleting forts, but if we get amphibious landed on, it's kind of my own fault for not having my navy on patrol. What's going on here? So we're collecting from here. Um, and we're moving trade down. I think we'll collect from here. And then we'll move trade down. Perfect. <clears throat> Alright, so army, 11,000 troops, 4,000 horse. Um, we'll max out the infantry. Manpower needs to recover. Relations with Ming. Gains one diplomatic reputation. Eh. Protect our brethren in Hitu Allah. Yes. We are eventually going to declare war. Now, I know you can automate diplomats now. But I don't think you can automate spy networks. Influence abilities. Uh, dynasty abilities. Embargo. No, you can't. You can't do it. You can't send spy networks automatically. Okay, that's fine. In that case, we will build a spy network. Your in Manchu with a J, and I think we might build one. No, I think that's it for now. No, but we will improve relations with our with our one extra diplomat with threatened countries. I don't know who that's going to be. I think this might sit idle. I'd ideally like to get an alliance with our good buddies Japan as well. Can we do that? I realize the music's a little bit loud. There we go. Explosive music's from uh, EU4. I may need to download the music packs for this um, game. Does anyone know if they're worth it? Let me know in the comments. So when it comes down to our ruler, he's actually pretty good. King Du Yi. Um, his heir is not as good. So the heir is going to be a general. And he's okay. Actually, 2, two zero, 2 zero, 1 is okay. Because we've got the siege. And I guess a bit of shock's pretty good early game as well. Uh, we are going to try and invade these Manchus and gobble them up. Because if we don't, Ming's going to eat them. And I, I want to get as much as we can from Ming. So Ming is our tributary. Tributor? Tribu tributary to you. And every, uh, every year they ask something from us. Either it's going to be some kind of monic points or money or... Or oh, they want, and if we say no, we lose trust. Uh, like he wants four ducats, we'll accept that. The good deal with this is that we get a free alliance, basically. It's like a defensive Holy Roman Empire. And then again, that's what the Holy Roman Empire is, isn't it? So the good news is now, if you're playing... I feel like the, the, the way people used to play Korea before was they'd always, like, try and... Um... Ooh, discipline. That's very good. Corruptible and tolerant as well. Damn. Uh, yeah, the way people used to play Korea before is they'd always try and ally with Ming. Because if you want to, if you're gonna get bullied by Ming, the game's pretty much already over anyway. I think we're gonna boost relations with you. Oh, it'll ally me now. Okay, cool. So I can't ally with any of the others. I don't think. No, because they're Damios, Dominos, Damios, Dominos Pizza. So yeah, so we're allied with him, and these are Shogun. So, I'm hoping there's going to be some kind of war inside of Japan. And what will happen is I'll get sucked into it and I'll try and grab some of the Japan. <laughs> and also give me a, a royal marriage, which is cool. 
Okay, Ming's changed from what they want. They now want military points, and we can get three. Depends on the size of your nation, how much they, how much they demand. They they have no ability. How much they ask, they just have the ability to. They just have the ability to ask. They have the ability to ask what they ask for. That makes no sense. Anyway, they're gonna war with the the Mongols. <clears throat> so what Ming tries to do is trade tributaries with all its bordering nations. If it doesn't have one bordering it, it loses some of its mandate. Which it needs to keep nice and open. I guess it's declared war on the Mongols because they can't get them as a tributary because they probably hate them. Probably. Drop the forts. Move our army to Pyongyang. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I've turned on dynamic province names. People keep complaining in the comments that I don't do that. So I've done it this time. Um, we're building a spy network. 25 is what we need. And we're at 24 now. They are a rival, so that's good. Okay, so... What are we going to do for this campaign? What are the goals? So the goals are to try and make an economically an economically powerful career through trade, through development. Not necessarily through conquest, but there will be some conquests as well. Because otherwise there's going to be no wars. It's going to be pretty fucking boring. So we are going to try and go for colonies first. Maybe try and grab this center of trade. Maybe grab Taiwan, maybe. Discover the new world. What I'm trying to aim for, this is the goal, guys. I'm going to try and aim for these mission objectives. That's what I'm going to try and do. Um, I'm just going to let the game almost steer me in the direction it wants me to go. So, let's go through some of these. So, discover America. I think we can do that. If we discover Alaska by moving our explorer east, I think we can do that one. Control five centers of trade. That's going to be tricky. Um, I don't even think there's that, that many around us. There's one here, we've got one here, one here, there's one up here, isn't there? I thought there was. No. Yeah, and then there's one down here too. I don't know, that's that's pushing it. We might manage that right at the end of the um, Age of Discovery, but I don't think that's going to be happening. Large city, we don't have one, but we have an ability to develop some farmland provinces. So that's, that's a yes, that one. We'll definitely get that one done. Um, embrace the Renaissance, I don't think we're going to manage that. Um, I don't want to embrace the Renaissance as well, because it'll mean that all my neighbors get to benefit from it as well. That's a good point. Is, is it worth the trade-off for going for Renaissance early? So, I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. Because at the end of the day, we're going to have to spend a lot of development boosting a province to try and get the... I don't, know, I don't, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, feudal Society gained five different vassals. That is so hard. I don't think that's going to happen. Presence on two continents. That We might do that if we find Alaska, but then again, the trade range is a bit far, so maybe not. Humiliate arrival. That is happening. That is happening. When I get an opportunity to do that, I will take it. I will take it. That will happen. Okay, so we've got a decent sized navy. We don't start off too bad with development either. When it comes down to it, we've got 130 development, which isn't too far off from Castile. New business opportunities. Ever since that we've been sending sending our tributes to Ming, the demand for the exotic goods of our artisans have been rather high in Beijing. So, improve relations, make them less disloyal, gain corruption, gain money. Oh, I'm not doing that. No way. I'll skim over some of the new events, so just get the gist of what they mean and what they're doing. And, uh, yeah. I can't go for corruption at this stage of the game. It's way too early. I'm going to try and root out corruption because I detest corruption. I've made that mistake before too many times. Okay, so... Yeah. When it comes down to Korea, actual Korean, Korean, Korean... Korean as in the culture, we do control all of it, which funnily enough is a thing that we'll need for one of the other ages, but we'll come to that anyway when we arrive on it. Alright, so that's good, so we're going to boost our ages now, let's have a look, is there a development here? Yeah, I think we're going to try and declare war on these guys as soon as we can. Oh, and they're at war right now, oh, this is the perfect opportunity. Development 15, development 15, we'll go for the capital, because that's really humiliating, right? Um, boost up the maintenance, we'll also boost up our navy too. We'll stick them here. Um, I feel like I want to ask the aristocrats for a general. Is it going to give us a god? If we can get a 2-2, that would make me a very happy man. Oh, what do you know? Hey! Well, what do you know? Alright, maintain that. Move that down. Split that in two. We'll use our air. Hopefully our air will die because he's rubbish. But we don't have a queen, which is an issue. Hmm... Ming wants Diplo points. They want three. Go for it. I think at the end of the day, it's totally worth a trade-off for me just giving them a few monic points or a few ducats every year. Just for the fact that I get this overwhelming protection. I wonder what's going to happen if I choose to kind of upset them at some point. I imagine... 
Helped us with smugglers. Ah, oh, it was an event. Okay. I, I am a moment. I realize that a royal marriage would be useful to get a queen. And there we go. Oh, Ming's at war. Ah, oh, no, that's not good. Uh, okay. Ah, oh, shit. We really want that province. If we don't get it, it's going to be a bit of a pain. Okay, that's cool. I do feel like we are a wee bit outnumbered at the moment. I know it's pretty even, actually. I know it's pretty even. Our navy's pretty decent sized as well, so that's pretty sweet. We could end up... Hmm... That's pretty greedy. I don't want Ming to grab too much land and get too much war score, because what will eventually happen... Is they'll end up grabbing this province and I need that for the mission, so I'd prefer that to happen. I guess this is a good opportunity because at least they're distracted with Ming Arenos. Oh, I can't even attach this because this is not even attached to the coast, so I don't get the bonus. Ah, shit. Is this new artwork? I think it is, isn't it? The way this works is I feel like everyone's explained this a thousand times, but you gain one plus splendor per month. And if you do any of these missions and complete them, you get an extra two splendor on top. So if you do this one, you'll get three. And if you complete this one and this one, you'll get five splendor. And then when you get 800, you can go for one of these rewards that last for the full age. And this one, uh, where is it? This one's pretty good. War taxes, free war taxes. Oh, yeah. And there's also another one that boosts colonies as well, which is also pretty, pretty sweet. Production increase, inflation reduction, buy networks... No, nah, none of these really appeal to me. Oh yeah, as well, they, um, another thing changed as well is Confucianism's uh, been modified as well. You now have an ability, you gain Harmony per month, which are maximum 100, where you gain Tolerance of the Truth, plus one. Now, uh, if you go the other way, you get really bad shit. Uh, the only way you can go the other way is if you harmonize too early. So what happens is you can, you can make other religions uh, kind of the same level that you are. Yeah, so I guess the, the game usually works is if you've got heathen or heretic, they suffer from a penalty. Oh, shit. That's not good. No, stay there, stay there. Yeah, a heathen or heretic suffers from a penalty for less manpower, less tax, etc, etc. Um, oh, I wonder what's going to happen here. we got a general, 1-0. I think we can win this, but we might lose a few ships, which is a bit of a pain. Oh man, this is nasty because they're going to get a nice war score. Go here. Yeah, so just to summarize, I feel like I've started mid sentence. So every religion that's under your banner that's not your own religion suffers from penalties. And what the harmonizing does is it makes them that every religion's got the same benefits and buffs and whatnot. So that would technically make heathens and heretics on the same level as your religion. Apart from the plus one tolerance of the true faith, if you max out your harmony, that's the one exception. And yes, yeah, so if you harmonize other religions, you also gain buffs as well. So currently we've harmonized Buddhism, which reduces idea cost by minus 7%, which is really cool. Which is weird, because we don't actually have any Buddhism, so I don't know, even know how that's happened. But anyway, the more you harmonize, the better, because the more buffs you get. So you technically like, uh, like synergizing lots of different religion buffs into one, which is pretty damn sweet. I don't know how much it costs, actually, but you lose harmony when you're, every si when you're synchronizing other religions. And we've looted this fully anyway. Uh, can they peace out now, please? Are oh, they fully? They've can fully. They've fully occupied them, and they've not peaced out. Oh, here we go. We've lost that because Ming's taking it like an ass. Uh, all right. Has they got any forts? I don't think they've got any forts, and I don't even think. Now they've not got any forts. Let them arrive. Boom, boom. Go here. Go here. Carpet siege for the win. We at war with anyone else? We are at war with these guys too. I'm just wondering if we can get some money from them, maybe. Let's give it a shot. Why not? I feel like we're at war right now, so what's the worst that can happen? All right, let's go here. Oh, they're going to be a pain in the ass and maneuver their armies over. Ugh. Where else is there a center of trade anywhere here? I thought there was a center of trade somewhere here, but there's not. Maybe one forms later in the game, maybe, I'm not sure. Alright, we're going to have to fight these dudes, because otherwise... Yeah. 
I don't think they've got any forts, I don't think. No. Oh, they've got one here. Is this an actual fort, though? No, it's not. It's just the capital. Are you seriously running away? All right, we're going to have to get movement access through you, because otherwise you're just going to be a pain in my butthole. Wrecked. The delicious five-speed, guys. You, 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 I get so many comments about me playing a five-speed on EU4. You guys love it, right? <laughs> the, the negative comments are crazy. I don't know. I just prefer to play this game nice and fast. I guess I'm like... I guess I'm like Hoi4, by the way, I, I haven't slept much last night and I, I kind of went out drinking, so I realize my voice just kind of breaks every now and then. I'm going through puberty. Uh, adds 10 trust from Korea for Ming. Lose some money or lose relations with Ming. No. No. Um, I realize we're not up to date with military either. Are they the same tech? Uh, oh, they're at war too. Oh, hello. At war with uh, Hang 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 Manchu with a H. Go here and we'll like occupy all of this. Plus gain plus ten percent harmony. Noble family with a strong heir. Two 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 is pretty actually poop actually. Lose harmony gain. Oh god, that's so good. Can't say no to that. Harmony doesn't give you that much to be honest with you. I think the biggest buff, the biggest strength of the. Uh, Confucian religion is the boost of is the ability to harmonize religions and gain their buffs. It kind of gives you an incentive to kind of attack nations that are different religions than your own. Uh, conquer Ukun? H-U I don't know why but I really struggle to re read that font. Oh you want to conquer this one? Sure. I don't think the objective is very good though, is it? It's just autonomy. Oh no, attrition. For oh god, that's so bad. That is actually worse than the autonomy reduction. This is going to be a little bit tricky. Alright. Are we going to arrive there in time? Doesn't look like it. Oh, just managed to scrape that back. Casualties are pretty high though. We're at no manpower, so we've, we've kind of overstayed our welcome now. So, gain tax, lose legitimacy. Upset the merchants. Oh, no, it's fine. I don't really take legitimacy very seriously, you know. Just getting quite a few extra cool things. Maximum absolutionism. Okay, we'll take care of absolutionism too. So remember, just to recap, the mission for this object, this, this is to try and complete as many objectives as possible to gain lots of splendor, become an economic powerhouse, and I don't know. We're just going to follow the missions, basically. There we go. All right, can we ask for something from you now? Oh, we can humiliate them. Oh shit, and that's one of our missions. Well, that's great. So that means we've completed one of our Age of Discoveries. We've humiliated, so we gain three Splendor now. A month, which will change in a moment, probably. Hopefully, please change. Alright. Um, cancel. They've gained this province here. I guess we should build a spy network against you now as well. Alright, great. Um, we haven't got a, a dude to send. Alright, perfect. I don't know why we were sending a spy whilst we're at war. Alright, we can't get all of it. I don't think we want all of it, to be honest with you. I think maybe that would be pretty cool. But that is greed at its maximum amount. This could cause a coalition against two Manchu nations. I don't give a crap. Stay mad, bro. Stay mad. All right. I think we're going to hire an admin guy. I think we're going to go for the inflation, dude, because I just love the inflation reduction. It's just something that can tick in the background. You just completely forget about it. I really enjoy that mechanic. All right. Drop that down. Uh, we're going to build cores. That is a bit of a pain because I realize our admin is going to drop behind. So I'll ask for some admin support from the clergy. I'm going to mothball you. Um, keep an eye on the rebels, though. I think it might be better. Damn, they are so pissed. Stay, stay mad, bro. Stay mad. So, devastation is a new thing. So it's, it's principally a, a negative attribute for... Territories that are at war or have been looted, etc. 
For instance, here, hang on, there we go. 18% devastation. Look at the negative effects. Pretty spooky, that, isn't it? Um, and the opposite is prosperity. You get that from maxing out the prosperity bar. And I realized my prosperity is not going up. I think the reason why it's not going up is because either because I was at war or that I've not got positive stability. I think I might gamble on an extra point of stability there. This is nasty because this is actually tanking my admin points. So I think we're going to focus on admin. Okay, I can no longer rival you. The po bonus is we are getting more splendor. I wonder what the sp sweet spot is for splendor. Like, how, how many of these missions do I have to fulfill to kind of achieve that optimal amount? I imagine that's going to be mid max at some point. So let's just cover this. So we are going to accumulate. We might get this one. That's not likely. That's not likely. This is definite. Not likely. And that one's a definite. So we'll get at least four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. I wonder how many of these we can f unlock. Yeah, I wonder how many of those we can unlock before... Okay, reduce over extension. Uh, do I care about that? Protect our brethren in Durin. Oh, shit. Can we go for... Oh, we can't go to war, though. We definitely can't go to war because it's just too soon. Oh, man. They're going to become quite strong as well. Brethren gives autonomy reduction, which is just pretty awful anyway. We'll go for the overextension reduction. Okay, so we do have the ability to harmonize now, so let's just check that out. We can harmonize the pagan religion. The only problem is when you dip below 50 harmony, you get those penalties, so losing legitimacy, true faith, and uh, cost for of development. Which, in all honesty, do I even care too much about that? Nah, fuck it. So if we do choose, it'll take... Oh god, it'll take a very long time to harmonize. Wow. Oh, let's do it. Let's gamble. So if we do successfully harmonize them, we everything gains 0 0.5 uh, re revolt risk, which is pretty sweet. I feel like we are doing this a little bit early, and we are getting punished for it. But in all honesty, I'm not going to be boosting development. Oh, then again, maybe I will be. Because we are going to boost development at some point, aren't we? Ah, oh, no. I have just realized we need to do that. Fuck. Because development cost is going to be a pain in the ass if we can't boost a city. So what cities have we got? So we need farmlands. These are plains. Capital is pretty good. Doesn't capital get an extra buff to reduction for development because it's a capital? Yeah, 9%. Well, this one's a good one too. This one is a center of trade as well. So that gets an extra buff. The buff is 5%. So the capital still is the best choice. Hmm. But we are aiming for the 20 cities. So it will be on my to-do list. We will do it. And we'll probably do these. Uh, I think I pronounced this wrong. Edicts. Is it edicts? We'll probably go for the one that reduces development. Yeah. All right. They're mad. They're super, super mad. Threatened nations are boosting relations. That's fine. And right now we're, we're building up a spy network against you. This is an important province that we need. We need this one. Did I just fabricate on the wrong one? Whoops. Influenza. Reduce for overextension. We're working on it. Quarantine. Uh, natives not assisting natives? I could have swore there's some kind of center of trade around this region that spawns later in the game. I just can't even remember. Alright, now this is going to be a bit of a pain because we're going to have issues with rebels. Don't know who that is, but we're going to remove that. 90%. It's going to be it's going to be difficult to see where this is going to spawn. How big is the stack going to be? Doesn't say, does it? What? Usually says how much the, how big the stack is, doesn't it? 23,000? Holy. Fuck. Okay. All right. Feels like a bit desperate that, but ah, it has to be done. It has to be done.
I didn't realize we took a loan. Oh shit, we did, yeah. The Ming Sphere. As part of the Ming Tributary Sphere, we are increasingly becoming part of a wider Ming cultural world. Uh, the language can be heard on the streets and the halls of blah 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 blah. Cool. Uh, increase prestige and boost relations with a random tributary or gain legitimacy. Uh, I think we're going to go for the prestige, just for the extra morale. Yeah. Alright, here we go. 23,000. General is a zero two. This isn't going to be enough. We're going to get fucked. This is too much. We're going to get screwed. Fuck, I'm going to have to take a loan. I really didn't expect this army to be this big. It might be the fact that we've got so much revolt because we've taken so much land. Hmm. That is a pain. Okay, I realized as well we should raise the levies too. Desires of the flesh. While we have successfully managed to keep the truth from the rest of our court, the only question of the time until it gets out, unless we do something, it's like queens up to no good. I imagine all the kings up to no good. Lose prestige, gain revolt. Oh, and a master of the mint dies. Okay. Oh, right, the queen was having an affair with the master of the mint. Wow. Scandalous. All right, so we just have the right numbers now. There's a general. We have got a general advantage and the numbers advantage, but seller, we are attacking. Oh, it's the woods. Oh, I thought it was mountains. Okay, never mind. It's all right. Doesn't matter. False alarm. False alarm. All right, we can drop the uh, admin down now. And get rid of the mercs. Okay, I think we're going to be all right for now. I think we're going to be all right. We have, again, a little bit of rebellion, but that's I think that's our... I think that's the Korean peeps, isn't it? So we've got two forts here. This is pretty good. It means they can't get down into like central South Korea area, which is good. That loan is becoming a bit of a pain. Um, the admin. Yes, we need the admin because we need to get that next idea group. We need to get the colonists ASAP. Making money now, which is good. Could probably do with making some ships as well. I'm thinking to myself, would that loan be a priority there or expanding what I've already got? The loan's only taking half a duck off us. Mm. Oh, we've got shit, got two loans. Oh, Christ, okay. Priorities, people. All right, well, they've expanded, haven't they? Okay, is there any extra fabrications we can get? Yeah. So we're going to go to war with this guy. The best thing to do is take one, two, three provinces here. Because then it blocks Ming from expanding and pushing into this region. Alright, I've gained our sweet, sweet cores. Make states. Pay extra maintenance. Looks like the nobility wants some land. We'll give it to this one because it's got a fort, so it gets the extra defense buff. Uh, the families left behind. The recent war took a heavy toll on our people. Many were called, few returned. The families of the nobles and the commoners alike had toiled as they awaited for soldiers to return home. Uh, we ease the tax burden, manpower reduction, or more unrest. <laughs> I feel like I'm stacking unrest events. It's usually not a big deal because like your homelands usually don't experience a lot of unrest, but Oh there we go. So we are plus one stability now, so we are gaining prosperity. So here the current 35% towards prosperity. There's an 80% chance each amount that processes the people's prosperity increases by plus one due to admin, diplo, and military. I'm not sure what that means. Do admin do diplo do. Yeah, I'm actually not sure what that means. Ming wants admin. Nice. The question is, people are going to ask me, like, Dave, are you going to try and become the Emperor of China? Good question. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure. Manpower recover. Attack Yihi. What do I gain from that? Oh, that's a good one. Manpower recovery and prestige. Well, I take that back, actually. It's not that good. It's okay. Manpower, or... Gotta be the manpower. Yep, gotta be.
We definitely collecting from the right one here. Yep. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. Yep. Maybe. Kind of weird seeing this ship that's meant to be trading just sitting in the Korean Bay. Not doing anything. I'm, like, nervous. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and subscribe. Click on the bell icon to be notified of future episodes. And also drop us a comment below of how you feel this series is going. Any nation suggestions, anything I should do that you think I should do. Let us know, boys. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Have a good day. See you soon. Bye-bye.